What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in to my channel. So there's some Utah news now that if you fornicate outside of marriage that it is not illegal no more. So if you're living in the state of Utah you can now fornicate outside of marriage and not get arrested for it. Would I do this? No. But if you live in Idaho, Massachusetts, Virginia, West Virginia, or South Carolina, it is illegal. Yes, it is illegal to fornicate while you're in marriage. Now, this is just crazy, if you ask me. I mean, a lot of people, I'm sure, think this is a great idea, but I think you should just be able to talk about these things at home. Work these things out with your spouse. You shouldn't have to have the police involved in your marriage and then possibly get a record for it or go to jail. I, I just... I just think it's crazy. If you choose to have sex outside of marriage, you're going to either be sleeping in the doghouse or you're going to be splitting up your marriage and ruin your family. So if you want, you can now be like Ozzy Osbourne and sleep with the nannies and not do any time. So on March 6, 2019, in Utah, Salt Lake City, the legislature is making outside of marriage sex legal. The lawmakers repealed this misdemeanor crime. The House passed Bill 43 on a 41 to 32 vote. So apparently there's a lot of say and naysayers out there. Utah Representative Paul Ray said court rulings have found the laws are unenforceable and it was time to remove them from the books. Real quick, I just want to play this episode from Dr. Phil. I just think it's hilarious and it just goes with this so well. Take a look. You chose to sit over on this side with your wife, but you traveled here with Chantel, correct? Yes. What? what? You're going to go there with another woman and then sit next to your legal wife? Why did you choose this side instead Come on, of man. over here with Chantel? Because Dr. Phil, she's my wife. And I love her. Uh -huh. And I want it to work. How do you feel about this one? Same thing. I love Chantel. Do you, you're in love with both of them, your wife and the girlfriend? You know, there's some guys who they want two wives. That's actually some people's beliefs. I've heard of this before. My wife's friend <laughs> talked to someone who, this guy said that he wanted multiple wives. It, it's just crazy that people were actually really like this. You've been with him for two years, and he's married. He's mar When I first met him, he was separated. He had his own condo. So he got back married again, and you still with him? What? And you're not married to him? It seems like these people were just desperate. Kind of one bald guy to another. <laughs> <laughs> bald guy to another. Oh, I love Dr. Phil. Aren't you just kind of sitting around saying, how did I find two such gullible women? No. They are clearly gullible. Honestly, even if you're married, I, I would think that there comes a time where like a line's crossed and you just have to say enough is enough. And that these people, they make these commitments and they think, you know, or it's, I don't know, some people have their own religious views to where they think that they are bonded to this marriage and that they have to stay with them. But I mean, it's crazy how, I mean, I, look, I understand that some people when they get married, they think that no matter what, they have to work it out and stay together, you know, and, and it's like a religious thing in some cultures. If someone is sleeping with another woman, I, I think there's a time where a line is drawn. You just have to get out of that kind of relationship. That's not what I'm saying. <laughs> this isn't a game to me. She, it is a game to you. No, it's not. Don't give me that self-righteous crap. You are married to her and she knows about her. You're with her and she knows about her and you got your cake and eat it too. So you're ping-ponging back and forth between the two of them. When I was not with Chantel, I was separated from my wife and we were contemplating divorce. I did not just walk into another relationship knowing that I was going to fall in love with somebody else. I think I just said this. 
yeah, you were separated, and then you got married again, and then you still stay with the girlfriend, and then the girlfriend still stay with you, and the wife still stuck around for the whole thing. Come on, people. Did you give your wife two STDs? No, I didn't. My wife was unfaithful to me. She could have contracted that from the person she was with. He says that he's not ping-ponging back and forth and not playing you both. What do you think about her being involved in your marriage? It's disgusting to me. I don't see how someone could do that. If she knows we were trying to work things out, she should be a woman and back away. But she's constantly calling, crying, just nonstop text messages whenever we're together. And I just think that's very selfish. I'm committed to my marriage, even though it doesn't look like it. It doesn't. <laughs> really? You're committed to your marriage? Look like it. It might not look like it, but when I said my vows to my wife, I meant my vows till death do us part. I don't know what you think is so funny. You know, people... I'm gonna leave. People laugh because... No, wait. No, if you're leaving, you need to go this way. <laughs> I'm gonna leave. Honest to God, I, I, I think I'm being punked. <laughs> he was saying, I, I don't know what you all think is so funny. Do you know why they're laughing? Yes, I do. Why are they laughing? Because this is a ridiculous situation. It, it is ridiculous laughter. <laughs> they're laughing because they don't want to stand up on national television and say, holy <laughs> are you kidding me? This is a ridiculous situation, but you're also still there in the situation. That's why they're laughing. I understand. But we need to, and th these guys will come back. They, they, they make a laugh. Oh, here we, here we go. Um, but it's the, why are you back? Why did you Dr. Phil, I need your help. I, I wish the audience would stop laughing. This is serious. This is my life that we're talking about. I'm not playing a game. I'm not making up jokes. I don't know what's so funny, but this is my life that we're talking about. I came here today to, re to get real answers and to find out some help from Dr. Phil. That's the only reason I'm here today. Well, since you're talking to them, I'll speak for them. May I speak for y'all? Yes. They're laughing because it's ridiculous. Yes. They're laughing. They're laughing because your absolute and utter lack of insight and narcissistic, self-serving is more than they can take. That's why they're laughing. And that should be a huge wake-up call to you. You it should is. thank them. It is, You Dr. should Phil. thank them for pointing out the ridiculousness of the rationale that you call a marriage. How am I doing? Good. Okay. Oh, I wanted to be sure I wasn't misquoting you. Um, they're not making... They're not making light of this because it's funny. They're making light of it because it's ridiculously sad, and they cannot understand why you are sitting around waiting for him to decide what happens with your life. Guys, Dr. Phil is a gangster. Man, that's my boy, Dr. Phil. Just to clear up, if you're thinking about fornicating outside of your marriage, remember this. Hallelujah. You don't recognize, this goes for male and female. Mm -hmm. You don't know when you have sex with somebody mm -hmm. that's not your husband or wife. Mm -hmm. You pick up a spirit from that person. Amen. I just came across recently this pastor. Not, I love this guy. I'm not trying to pick on him or anything. And I love how the drummer always, <laughs> at the end of his talking, is like... It's like, it's like a stand-up act or something like that. But, but he's saying that if you sleep with someone outside of your marriage, that you're going to pick up a spirit from them. And he, and he continues to say, 
If you sleep with 500 people, you're going to carry a spirit from all 500 of those people. What? If you had sex with Jack the Ripper, Amen. all of a sudden you want to carry a blade. Amen. Come on, man. That's right. Amen. It's you ain't been carrying no knife. Right. Amen. But you had sex with Jack the Ripper. Oh. Now you got a big old blade. It's hard out here. Amen. You know. That's right. That's right. So remember, if you sleep with Jack the Ripper, you're going to be a serial killer. So yeah. Don't sleep around on your spouses. Alright guys, thanks for checking out my weekly news. See you guys next time. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Bye!